welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. Today, I would like to begin, as I always do, by sharing with you a poem titled, Prayers are the Stairs to God by Helen Steiner Rice. Prayers are the stairs we must climb every day. If we would reach God, there is no other way. For we learn to know God when we meet him in prayer and ask him to lighten our burden of care. So start in the morning and though the ways steep climb ever upward till your eyes close in sleep. For prayers are the stairs that lead to the Lord. And to meet him in prayer is the climber's reward. Ladies and gentlemen, the simple purpose of this broadcast is to encourage you, to motivate you, and exhort you to pray so that God can begin to do all sorts of wonderful things in your life, for your family, and whatever God has called you to do. Our prayer motivator verse from the Word of God today is Matthew chapter 26, verse 36, which reads, Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. Our prayer motivator quote for today is from Frank Labach. He said these words, The trouble with nearly everybody who prays is that he says amen and runs away before God has a chance to reply. Listening to God is far more important than giving him our ideas. Our prayer motivator devotional for today is a continuation of our last broadcast titled Every Attribute of God is Implied in the Fact that He Hears and Answers Prayer from Dr. John R. Rice. You might recall from our last broadcast that we talked about three qualities or attributes of God. Uh, those qualities are, number one, a prayer-hearing God is a living God. Number two, a prayer-hearing and prayer-answering God is an all-knowing God. And number three, if God is able to answer prayer, then he has all power in heaven and earth. Today, by the grace of God, we will continue this discussion uh, with three more attributes or qualities of God in relation to prayer. Fourth, Dr. John R. Rice said, if God answers prayer and has such infinite wisdom, 
such almighty power, then he himself must be the creator. There could be none other as powerful. There could be none to dispute his right. There could be none other to limit his work or cross his will than the God who answers prayer. In the very nature of the case is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Fifth, the God who answers prayer then is a miracle working God. To believe that God is a reward of them that diligently seek him means that one has faith in all that is ever claimed for God. If there is a God who hears and answers prayer in the sense of the Bible, then of very necessity his work is miraculous, his work is supernatural, not ordinary but extraordinary, not human but divine, not limited but infinite in scope. Does God work miracles today? Someone asks, and the answer is yes. If he is the God who rewards those that diligently seek him, if he is still the God who hears and answers prayer, then his ordinary and natural way of working in answering prayer would be by miracles. Every soul saved is a supernatural act, not a natural one. Every time God intervenes and controls nature or changes a plan to make it rain when it otherwise would not have rained and does it because someone prayed, then that is a miracle. Every time a person gets well in answer to prayer, when otherwise he would not have gotten well, it is a miracle, a divine intervention in natural, natural affairs. As the late Dr. Blanchard, former president of Wheaton College, said in one of his books, If there be God, he must act like God. God works miracles. God who would cease to work miracles would cease to be God. In the Bible sense, that is a personal God who personally hears and answers the prayer of faith. And then number six, if God answers prayer, then he is a God, yea, the God of infinite love and mercy. God knows none of us deserve to have our prayers answered. We poor sinners deserve only condemnation and the and forsaking and punishment of death. But God loves sinners. His mercy is boundless. Romans chapter 5 verse 20 says, Where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. If there is a God who rewards those who diligently seek him, that is, who hears and answers the cry, the faith, the need of human beings, then God would give his own Son to atone for sin and make it so. He could righteously forgive sin and save sinners 
and keep them out of hell and make them into his own image and have them forever with him in heaven. When one really believes that God is a prayer hearing, prayer answering God, he has the secret to the very heart of God, and he can dimly see and outline all of the graces and powers and majesty of the infinite God, a God who hears and answers prayer, is a true God is the true God and any God who does not hear and answer prayer has not the power and the grace to create or support the world or to love and seek and save lost sinners with these things in mind we can understand how God longs to be known by the title, O Thou That Hearest Prayer, and how no one can please Him, no one can come to Him without believing that He is God, who hears and answers the prayers of those who diligently seek Him. Now, it is time for us to pray. Please remember that the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer requests if the Lord will so lead you to do so. We would be glad to pray for you. Let's pray together. Holy Father God, we are weak, but thou art strong. Lord, we praise you and we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your grace. We thank you, Lord, for being the God who is there and here and who hears and answers our prayers. We individually, together, as we join in prayer across the technology, we confess our own sins and our failures and our faults to you. For Jesus Christ's sake, we pray, Lord, that you would please forgive us of our sins as we from our hearts, by your grace, forgive those who have sinned against us. We pray that, Lord, you would empty us of self and pride and fill us today afresh and anew with the fullness and the anointing and the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray that you would take our feeble hands and lead us, guide us, and direct us in the way that you would have us to go. And Holy Father God, we do pray for all church leaders, all pastors, all evangelists, all missionaries and deacons. We pray that you would truly save them, lead God and direct them in the way that you want them to go that the church will march on strong in these last evil and wicked days. Lord, we also pray for all who are in government, for they are your ministers too. And we pray for all presidents, all governors, all governmental leaders. Lord, we pray that you lead God and direct them, that we may have peaceful lives in these last days. We pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ and we continue in prayer for three people who have sent in prayer requests. Lord, we pray for James in Tallahassee, Florida. Please keep his family safe. Help his mother to get her house fixed and help him to survive the next few years of college. Lord, we pray for Raynaud in Grand Terrence, California. Uh, Lord, we pray that you would bring financial stability to her family and help them to be able to keep their house and, and to survive this depression. Restore her singing voice so that she can give you praise. Lord, we pray for one who has
says, send in an anonymous request. Lord, heal him from back pains. And, uh, Lord, we pray that you would heal the blurred vision, the insomnia. And we also pray that you'll heal his finances. We pray, Holy Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for the following people who have, by your grace, come to know you as Savior recently through our ministry here, Gospel Light Society. We praise you and thank you for allowing us to play a small part in your uh, great enterprise of winning souls to yourself. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen these in the faith. Help us to disciple them well. And, uh, Lord, bless and anoint and prosper all of our communication to them back and forth. And, Lord, we pray that you would help them to grow, to be the strong Christians you, would, you want them to be. And Lord, some uh, need to be baptized. Help them to get baptized and to find a good local Bible-believing church where they are. We pray specifically these Blessings upon Elizabeth in Panama, Noel in Tanzania, and Anuj in India. Now, Lord, we also pray for the following people who have been saved for a while, but who have decided to rededicate their lives to you. We rejoice with them in this decision, and we pray that they will keep their commitments to you and be strengthened in the faith. We pray specifically for Jacinta in Peru, Sanjay in India, Marita in Peru as well. And Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, use these your children to be shining lights and witnesses for you and help them to go out and reach others in these last and evil days in which we live. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as your Savior yet. Please take heed to the word of God. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him, Jesus Christ, from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. Saved from what? saved from hell for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved now friend of mine if you are willing to trust Christ as your Savior today please pray with me the following simple prayer I did it 30 years ago and God saved me and if God can save me he can save you please Pray with me. Repeat after me phrase by phrase. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner, that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul today and change my life forever. Amen. Dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, please contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled, What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This will help you get started in your Christian life. Until next time, remember, dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.
Thank you for listening to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. If you would like for us to pray for you, please send your prayer request to gls at gospelightsociety.com. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on bcnnradio7.com, buzzsprout.com, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and Live 365. Tell your friends and family to tune in and discover the power of prayer. Now here's a song that will encourage you to pray. God bless.